So in this lesson, I just want to discuss uh, creating plastic materials using a Maxwell and definitely I'm not going to go crazy about uh, this section, this whole section uh, because there are a lot of free Maxwell materials that you can download from Maxwell Gallery and find out how they created it but I'm just going to give you basic approach to create different types of materials in this section. We start with plastics and I would uh, like to create some different types of plastics and show you the approach and how to create them and for other types of materials like wood metal uh, we're going to uh, have the same approach. So let's uh, get started by uh, creating a very simple type of plastic. I'm just going to create a new Maxwell material and let's name it um, plastic. Okay and let's open it up using our MXED. Even though we have discussed creating uh, plastic materials in our previous lesson, but I'm just going to quickly uh, create a plastic material here. So first of all, you need to define the main color of your plastic here. Uh, I don't know, let's go to a color like this, maybe a bit darker. Okay, let's use the same color Maybe a bit more brighter version on our reflectance 90. Just get something like this. And select your preview scene and update it. So that's your diffuse layer. Now you need to add reflection to this plastic. So let's right click, add a new layer, and let's name this reflection. And obviously, we can go ahead and decrease the amount of roughness. Let's go to one here and change the layer blending mode to additive by clicking here. You can see now the N normal has changed to A for additive. And also I'm going to reduce the opacity of this layer to something like maybe 20 here. And that is our shiny plastic. So let me just go ahead and save it, apply it to my uh, object here and start fire and see what's going to happen. So here is our plastic and it's very simple. If we wanted to increase the reflection of this plastic, we can simply go ahead and uh, we haven't updated it yet. Let me just go ahead and actually get the updated version here. Now if we wanted to go ahead and increase the reflection of this layer, we can simply increase the opacity of the reflection layer or increase the ND or make our reflection zero, maybe a, a brighter version of this gray. Uh, so that's about this plastic. Let me just save it and let's create a duplicate. And this time we can create a plastic, maybe blurry. I can open up this uh, material and if I wanted the reflection to be uh, more blurry and less glossy, I can simply select this BSDF and increase the amount of roughness. So let's go ahead to something like 20 here and change the preview and update it. And now as you can see, we are getting a, a blurrier version of that same plastic. And we can go ahead and increase the amount of uh, the opacity of this large, something like 30. And uh, we can, if you wanted to, uh, to uh, increase the ND, but three is a very good index of refraction for plastics, for wood, for ceramic, uh, for those kind of opaque stuff. So that's about it. Now, if I wanted to add some sort of scratch, let me just save this and create a duplicate of this material. And let's uh, name it, I don't know, scratchy, something like this. And let's open it up using our MXED. I can to make this a bit more realistic, add some sort of scratch and add some bumpiness to my surface, but it should be very subtle. So let's go and uh, select the texture. Let's go ahead and maybe use um, this texture here. Just going to open it and let's increase the brightness of this texture. And we can increase the contrast a bit. Hit OK and let's just turn on this update here and change the preview scene. Even though you can see those scratches here quite obviously, but the 30 is a huge number. So let's reduce this value to something like two or three. And this way you can have a very nice scratchy sort of old and used type of plastic if you wanted to by just adding this texture to your bump slot. So let me just go ahead and actually 
save this and let's apply this to our abstract 3d object I just want to make sure the texture is right so let me select this and change my uh, maybe to a cubic and go to something like 50 and 50 and let's start fire and see what's gonna happen so here is our uh, scratchy sort of plastic window we still can go ahead and increase the uh, bump map let me just open it up using MXED I'm used to using this MXED and you possibly I uh, like it or if you don't just open it up using Cinema 4D we can go ahead and increase this value let's go to something like 6 and update it and this is the result that we are getting so let me save this material another very interesting type of plastics are transparent plastics so here I have an example and as you can see this blue plastic which is transparent and is very beautiful now let's uh, create uh, uh, two types of plastics uh, a white transparent plastic and a blue transparent plastic so I'm going to start from scratch this time so let's create a new Maxwell material and let's name this one uh, white transparent plastic and let's open it up using our MXED let me just make sure I have the right preview and let's uh, update it so the first thing obviously as all the other plastic we need a diffuse layer this is going to be our base layer and I'm just going to change this color to a brighter white let's go to our uh, maybe 220 would be enough and that's our uh, diffuse layer and then I'm going to add another layer this is going to be basically the transparent part of our uh, plastic transparent plastic material so I'm going to name this layer glass or transparent or whatever uh, you feel better and let's uh, go ahead and select um, a bright color like here so it's very sort of clear and let's increase our attenuation to something like five centimeter and I'm going to decrease the roughness to zero another very important value is ND or index of refraction uh, which uh, for transparent plastic should be a very low value so let me go ahead to something like 1.1 here and as you can see very quickly we change the look of our material now this layer is uh, concealing our diffuse layer so what I'm going to do to kind of blend and mix this two layer is to decrease my glass and my transparent amount uh, opacity layer the opacity amount let me go ahead and reduce this value to something like 75 okay and this is the result that we are uh, getting also I'm going to change my reflection 0 and 90 color to black also so there is no reflection uh, going on in this layer because I want to have uh, control over, over my reflections and how they're going to appear so I'm going to add another layer which is going to be my reflection over my plastic over my glass and uh, diffuse layer here so for this layer now uh, let's um, obviously decrease the roughness now it depends on how much you want your reflection to be uh, rough or to be glassy so I'm going to uh, increase this value to something maybe like 15 here and simply a, a index of refraction of 3 is a quite a good number for plastics so uh, let's just change the blending mode for this layer to additive and decrease the opacity to something maybe like uh, I don't know let's go to 15 here and that's going to be our transparent uh, white plastic so let me just close it and save it and let's uh, just update the preview here too and let's apply to our uh, material here and let's uh, start fire so there you go the render is finished and absolutely fantastic and you get this beautiful plastic material we need to let it go for a few more minutes to uh, kind of clean all the noises but this is beautiful 
and now if you wanted to uh, make this material uh, more opaque and less transparent so you can simply go ahead and decrease the opacity of this glass layer and if you wanted to increase the uh, transparency you simply can go ahead and increase the opacity of this glass layer now uh, in order to create a colored version of this transparent plastic as I showed you I can just let's create a duplicate here and um, let's rename this white let's for blue for example I'm just going to open this uh, material again using my MXED and simply uh, it's just a matter of changing the color of reflectance 0 and 90 here so let me just go ahead and change them to this blue here for the reflectance 90 you can go a bit maybe brighter and for my uh, transmittance color I'm just going to change it to a brighter version and a bit more desaturated version of the same blue here so this is the the color here and I'm just going to change it to this one and then I'm going to hit OK and really that is it you don't need to change anything else I'm just going to update it and we can go ahead and actually render it and see what's going to happen so I'm just going to apply this material here and I can simply render it using my uh, fire uh, or my uh, rendering application here so I have rendered uh, this and as you can see it is beautiful and very nice uh, we get this nice transparent blue plastic which was really easy as I showed you uh, just a few layers and a few tweaks and we got this beautiful uh, transparent blue plastics so this is about uh, plastics and hopefully it was useful and you can go and search for different types of plastics on Maxwell Gallery and find out more about creating different other types of plastics and we possibly have another uh, course uh, after this course just covering creating very different types of materials uh, in Maxwell but uh, this is about uh, plastics and in the next lesson we uh, create different types of uh, materials and possibly wood or metal so uh, see you in the next lesson thank you guys for watching this tutorial it was a free sample from our comprehensive introduction to Maxwell render for cinema 4d course make sure to visit our website mograflas.com and check the entire course out